Hi everyone, I'm Maria. I'm showing you the Zara bits that I picked up at the sale just recently. Here we go. Starting off with this darling little sweater. This is a cotton poly blend and I thought it was very perfect for the fall coming soon, which I know we have to get through summer first, but I was kind of thinking ahead a little bit. It is also pretty lightweight, so if you are in a cooler climate in the summer, you can get away with wearing this. And I have paired it with these cute little faux leather paper bag shorts. You know I love that paper bag style. It really helps cinch in the waist and give you a little bit more of a defined waist if you are a little bit rectangular shaped like I am. And these are a really wonderful light sage green color. I am really into green lately and I'm absolutely loving these. I think they have a beautiful flare at the end so that they are accentuating your legs, making them look a little bit thinner underneath and not hugging them ever so tightly. And they are a nice, beautiful length. They're really darling, really cute. And we have these gorgeous little espadrilles. These are a sandy brown color. They have a beautiful crisscross leather in the front. They do feel really nice on the feet, very comfortable. I'm wearing my regular size, so they are very true to size. I just tried some Cezanne ones for $100, and these are really, really similar for a fraction of the cost. So I think I'm gonna hang on to these and probably return those Cezanne ones, unfortunately. That is awful of me to say, but um, yeah. Uh, these are just as good, I think. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Before I jump into the next outfit, if you are new here and have not subscribed yet, I would absolutely love it if you did so. I'm all about chic and modern fashion here, so please subscribe and let's get on to the next outfit. All right, next up are these jeans that I picked up at the sale. They are called the Marine Straight. However, they are quite flared at the bottom, super, super wide leg. They are pretty much straight through the hips. They are high-waisted. They have pocket details here in the front and they are a zipper and button closure. Now, they are a raw hem at the bottom. They are cutting me off right at the ankle, so I think it's just a really fun length, but I do still think they're quite age appropriate. I mean, I, I would definitely wear these. I would only pair them with a pair of flats, though, because I don't think for this length they would look good with heels, being that they are so wide-legged and I am almost 5'8 for reference. I just think these are fun. They have a really great 70s vibe to it, almost a little boho in style. I could easily see myself throwing on maybe a really pretty kimono or a nice little drapey cami and just having you know, some jewelry hanging out and just kind of stacking up some jewelry and just feeling like a really cool laid back boho vibe with them. Next up, showing you this Zara skirt. It is a denim skirt with a little bit of distressing. It has a high waist here, and it is kind of pretty much straight. It is midi, but I do appreciate that slit in the front to help show your leg a little bit so it's not giving you an overly frumpy appearance because of that odd length. The distressing is really fun, not too much to overdo it. I think this is just a fun little skirt to throw on in the summer. You can carry it into the fall and winter as well and wear knee-high boots underneath it and I think that would look fantastic as well. So a very versatile piece that is just a great staple for the closet. Next up is this little crop top, and this is a nice little dusty blue color. It is a cotton polyester blend. It is quite cropped on me, actually. I was not expecting it to be this short. It is almost up to my bra here. So I would definitely pair this with probably the most highest waisted bottoms that I can find. And you use this as a layering piece to maybe place over a white button down shirt or maybe a longer t-shirt of some sort to kind of give a little bit of a layering effect there. I don't think this is anything I would walk out of the house wearing on its own, even despite the high-waisted pants. It's just a little too much. Showing you these sandals now that I also picked up at the sale and I think I can kind of understand why they were put on sale because I think they're just a little bit odd for me. I was very drawn to the gold chain around the ankle and also the ties up the leg. These are extremely long ties and they're going all the way up to midway up to my calf here and I would say that's not very flattering. You can easily probably cut these down and just do maybe like a once or twice little tie around the ankle and they would look totally fine and if I were to keep these I think that is what I will opt to to do because I really do love that chain and I do love the crisscross 
strapping in the front of the foot. I think that is quite flattering and a really nice kind of different look to them. So I suppose this is turning into a bit of a denim haul here, but these are another pair of Zara denim. These are the 1970s boot cut and they're part of their special limited edition, but they were part of the sale as well. They have a super high waist. I mean, my belly button is like down here, so really high-waisted, which I absolutely love. It's actually coming up higher than my natural waist, which is, yeah, I mean, that's great. And they're just a normal zipper and button fly, pockets in the front, pockets in the back. I would say they are quite flattering on the bum. They fit me absolutely perfectly here, but they are super, super long. I mean, I'm wearing some high heels with them and they still are dragging on the floor just a little bit there. So I pro probably would need to take them up just a half an inch if I wanted to, or just wear them with my higher heels. I have ones that are just a little bit higher than this would probably work out better. They are a boot cut. I'd say they're really, really flattering. They are just giving me endless legs. Like I feel like my legs are just a mile long in these. So it's really, really flattering. Yeah, they're 100% cotton, so I do love that rigid style that does not have any stretch. I think that's probably why I like these so much. So I'm very impressed with these. They are going to be linked down below with anything else, hopefully that is still available, or I'll try to find something else on the site that might be comparable to it to help you out. But I would say these are a great pair to snatch up and get your hands on, because I'm very impressed with these. Okay, next up is this oversized blazer. I have it in the medium, and normally the medium never fits me because of course of my broad shoulders, and I've complained about that numerous times on my other Zara hauls, but this is fitting me absolutely wonderfully, and I am really, really happy about that. I love this oversized fit of it. I would always pretty much scrunch my sleeves up here because you need to show a little bit of skin, otherwise they just completely consume you and overwhelm you. I've just thrown it on here with what I was wearing before. I think these are beautifully constructed. It actually has some lining here. I always find Zara blazers to be a little overpriced for their quality, but in this case, since it's on sale, I think I can justify a lower price and feel like it is a little bit more well worth it. This is a polyester wool blend. It does feel quite nice despite that polyester element in it. I would say this is a really great find for being a sale item. All right, don't kill me, but I have one more pair of jeans to show you. I don't know, I think I saw them all on sale and thought this would be a great idea to just try all their different silhouettes. So these are the Trute Wide Leg, that's what they're calling it, Trute, T-R-U-T-E, Wide Leg. And they are very wide, of course. They kind of remind me of the marine straights that I had on um, previously with the raw hem. These come down a little bit longer, so they're not exactly ankle length. However, they are at a funny length for me where my lowest heel is a little too uh, high for it and my flats are a little bit too low for it. And I'm almost 5'8 for reference again. And they actually do have a little bit of a large fit on me. They're not quite fitting me that great on the waist. They are coming up right in line with my belly button. And these are the size 6, the 28s USA, which usually fit just right on me, but there is quite some room there. You can see that big gap on my waist there. I think they are also 100% cotton, which is what I'm always uh, loving. Yeah, 100% cotton, so that's really nice, and I'm pretty sure they're part of the Join Life collection. Yeah, Join Life. Maybe if I size down on them, they might look better, but then they would probably come up a little bit short. And yeah, I mean, I think they're okay. I also have another blazer to show you. So this is the navy blazer, and I think it's also oversized. It is quite a dark navy. In fact, I think it's reading pretty black on screen right now, if I can tell. I thought it was actually black when I got it, but then I put it against my black bodysuit and it does read navy against the black, but on its own, it does look quite dark. But again, this is a great oversized fit. It is roomy in the shoulders for me, so that is really wonderful. I would wear it with my sleeves up and the jacket open. I pretty much never button my blazers. I always like it to be open because then you can see your waistline there and it kind of helps take away from that oversized look as well. So that is always very helpful on these oversized blazers to try to show your waist cinch it in a little bit. Also lined inside so that is fantastic. 
Let me see the material on this one. This is a polyester viscose blend. This also still feels really nice and very light and a great staple to have in your wardrobe year to year. You know, this is a great find. Well, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this Zara haul. I hope you got some great inspiration from the pieces I chose and maybe a little bit of help on finding something that you like in the Zara sale. If they still have anything available, I'm not sure. I know things go really, really fast, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And again, if you are new here or you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really love it if you please do so. It's that red button down below that you can hit subscribe and the little notification bell next to it so that you don't miss my next video. We're all about chic and modern fashion here, looking your best and looking elegant and sophisticated without spending a lot of money. So I do hope that you'll stick around and tune in for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.